In this case, we want to generate um, an account opportunity overview for all selected accounts, uh, uh, for all opportunities in a selected account. So we have a list of accounts because that's why it says in here and it says in here. And that's, we have to provide through this uh, overview, a list of accounts. So when uh, we want to pass on from a flow into a batch, a list of accounts, it has to be um, structured as the following. So let's go into a document. So first of all, we're gonna have our key. Uh, that's the, uh, the variable to use here. That is going to be uh, accounts, obviously. And then we have uh, a value that we must set. And that value is going to be structured as the following. So we have the ID one of account one, then a semicolon, a space, ID of account two, a uh, semicolon and a space, ID of account three, semicolon space, ID uh, account four, and so on and so on. So that's uh, the structure that we are going to have to create via our flow to pass on into the batch, and then we can run this batch with all of the accounts required. So I have a new flow. In this flow, I'm gonna select uh, all the accounts that start with the name UN. So that's gonna be uh, a University, United, United, United. So these uh, four should be selected. And then, yeah, well, these four we want to have, of course, processed in our batch. Okay, so now do we uh, uh, make sure that we are processing all of these records. Step one is we're going to create some uh, variables. So we're going to create a new resource. Uh, the first resource is called uh, parameters. So let's create a variable. API name is parameters and data type. This is the most important thing. It's, uh, it's going to be apex defined. And the apex defined variable is going to be called Captain score. Ah, here, yeah. uh, score parameters, yes, this one. So that's step one, okay. And now we're gonna create another variable. And this variable is going to be called, uh, let's say this variable, let's say that we're gonna call it accounts, um, key value. Okay, and then it's gonna be again, apex defined and the type is going to be Katmus key value. Okay, so a key value means that that is a, a key, that's the identifier and a value. Yeah, that's of course, obviously the, uh, the value that we, uh, that we want to, uh, to select. So and that's what we have to put together, this uh, value and this key for these two, uh, for these two items. Okay, that's uh, done. So let's first say that, hey, we want to uh, create a variable assignment and we're going to set the key. I like to work with uh, different variable assignment steps. If you want to uh, uh, rather work in one step, that's uh, perfectly possible, of course. So we're going to set uh, accounts key value dot uh, key is going to be equal to um, accounts. So that's the name accounts. That's the key. So that's, that's the key that we're also going to use in our as a variable in our batch info. So that's important that this is spelled correctly. It's uppercase uh, case sensitive. So make sure it's uh, all in lowercase if you want to put it also in lowercase into your uh, into your circle that defines the uh, the batch inputs. Okay. So next step is we're going to loop over all of the. Uh, <clears throat> of the opportunity, uh, sorry, the accounts that we had. So we're gonna loop accounts. The variable to loop over is, uh, of course, the uh, uh, the accounts, yeah. Uh, from first to last, yeah, that's all fine. And now in this loop, we're gonna build some uh, some logic. So step one is we, uh, we're gonna create a list, a comma separated list of, uh, of values. Yeah, that, uh, that we have to pass on. And every item in that list is going to be, of course, a record from uh, the ID from the account that we are using here. So first step is we have to actually identify uh, if this list is empty or not. 
because we don't want it to start with an uh, with an empty separator. Um, so let's go over and make a decision. Yeah, <clears throat> the decision is going to be called is first account. Okay, then uh, the label we're gonna be it's gonna be uh, uh, accounts uh, empty. So there is nothing in the list as uh, of this moment. And then we can say here, it's going to be the accounts key value dot value, uh, value string. Uh, yeah, and this one uh, is no. <clears throat> so it's not defined yet. So it's uh, actually empty. It's, it's, it's no is going to be true. Okay, done. So uh, when it's empty, we're not going to do anything. When it's not empty, we're actually going to add, do an assignment. Okay, let's go for assignment. Um, we're going to add a uh, uh, separator to this uh, because we want to create a list of um, a list of contact IDs. So we're going to add a separator here. Let's call this add separator. Okay. And then we're going to say the uh, um, accounts key value dot values value string uh, add. <clears throat> and we're going to add a semicolon and a space. Very important that you also add a space here because otherwise it's not going to work. So this is semicolon and a space. That is done. Okay. Now, next up, we're going to, of course, be adding the account ID. So it's again an assignment. And in this assignment, we're going to, as I indicated, um, add account ID. So the variable is going to be the accounts key value dot uh, value string dot add. Uh, we're going to add here uh, from the loop that we are doing. So that's uh, current loop item. Yeah, dot ID. Okay, that should be the account ID. Okay, so we're now adding this loop here and then we're making sure that we add the account ID. Then uh, if there are multiple account IDs, they're going to add a separator, then again an account ID, then again a separator, then again an account ID, and so on and so on, until all of the accounts have been processed. And then <clears throat> we just have to do one more assignment. Because we're going to uh, set the uh, parameters, yeah? uh, because that's uh, going to be required. We uh, in the beginning we have created two uh, two variables. One was called parameters, and to pass it on in the in the uh, uh, in the APAC uh, sorry the flow action that we have uh, created from Bullet Butler, it's going to have to sit in some kind of uh, this kind of a list. That's what Salesforce requires. So we're going to add here an, uh, uh, some uh, some IDs, and that is going to be our accounts key value. So our account key value, we're going to add into this list, and then we can pass this list on uh, this list of parameters onto uh, um, onto our bulk uh, batch starting program. <clears throat> okay, and this is going to be an action, and this is going to be called uh, research or bulk butler. We want to pass it on with with with, with params. So that's going to be this one. Uh, start a batch, for instance. The batch ID, okay, we're going to have to look for the batch ID. Batch infos, it was um, create opportunity overview for selected account. Okay, that's going to be this one. So now it's hard coded. Obviously, you can just search for the batch ID inside the flow if you want and then use it as a variable. As for demo purposes, I'm just going to hard code it. And this uh, is, as you would expect, just the parameters variable. Okay, that's done. That's uh, our um, our item created here. So our flow created here. This flow is going to now pass on a list of parameters into the batch. And we're going to use that batch to uh, actually uh, make a uh, filter on all the accounts that we have to process. Let's save it. 
and then let's call this um, <coughs> get accounts and start patch safe and then the only thing I have to do is activate it to actually go out and test it. So now we have our batch, we have our flow that is set up completely and it's activated. And now let's do it now, uh, let's do a test. So we have to go to an opportunity. In the opportunity, I'm just gonna make any change because yeah, this is a demo of course, so I can make any change. Then our flow would, uh, would start, the flow would fetch all of the records, all the accounts starting with UN. And from all of these accounts, uh, it will then uh, create a list, an, uh, a parameter list to start our batch. And that parameter list, we're gonna take the parameter with key accounts, and that's where we're gonna filter on. So that is uh, the setup. Let's uh, let's see it in action. So I'm just gonna change anything, something, and then I'm gonna save. So now the flow has already uh, uh, done its work. And let's take a look at the, uh, the batch here. So I can see now if I refresh the page that there is uh, no batch on yet, but it will be there in a second now. So this is when Salesforce, of course, decides to uh, run this batch job. When the batch job is there, we can actually take a look and we see that 13 documents needed to be processed yeah, and that it's already done. It took 13 seconds for this batch to start and generate all of the documents that we needed for these, uh, uh, for these 13 opportunities that we have selected from the four accounts. So that's it. That's uh, the, uh, the demo of how you can launch, how you can push into a batch a list of uh, uh, proper, a list of uh, uh, IDs or a list to filter on and pass it on to a batch so that the batch can only take the records that you want to take into account.